He's 0 for 2 in game two. Now he's 1 for 3 in game two, and that's seven with a double. That's another beautiful swing. By depositing this breaking ball down the corner for a nice double. And he has three hits now, four hits with that double. Pitch inside the double by Peraza. The Yankees' fifth hit of the night. Twins have six. Trout and Aaron Judge in their rookie season to come up and just rip the scene up. So sometimes it takes time just at a higher level and maybe just a few more people in the stands. Upstairs. Old Yankee Stadium in game two against, against the Rocket. I was able and for. Now, did you ever? I was just the kind of guy that he was and, you know, had, had an opportunity to, to share the field with him. Swing and a miss. Insurance run to this already, already three run deficit. Well, they walked him intentionally. And then Dural, and we're hoping that he gets better quickly. Obviously, he's watching the game. Giancarlo Stanton. For weeks, he's been flying solo with no protection whatsoever. I would, not only ha what he's been able to do the whole season, but that first half, Anthony Rizzo is on the I.L. with 30 home runs. That's a big loss. So that's why they need to a point where they win the American League East with everybody recovering and then Rio on Torres. And Pagan pumps a strike in there. Three. Pop. Miranda makes the play for the second out. Walk somebody, and that happens. It further emboldens everyone to do it again. Oswald. Pete Alonzo and Aaron Judge leading the league, clearing above and homers. And it's like. Well, I think that in the first half of the season, Cam, a real smart move to walk him because the next guy would make you pay. But yeah. now, over the last month, I, I don't understand. I mean, it, it might get Showalter was managing the Diamondbacks. He walked Barry Bonds with the bases loaded. Initiative and, and, and do the same thing that Bug did. Well, Baldelli intentionally walked. We go to the eighth. Well, in the seventh, striking out Correa. And Miranda hits a fly ball to deep center. Almost lost his hat. Yes, sir, he does. I mean, that bunt single got it all started. And talk about the bit out there in center field. Is Nick Gordon's due up, so they're going to pull him back for a pinch hitter. That will be Gary Sanchez. Upstairs to Sanchez. So Nick Gordon was one for three against Cole, a single and two strikeouts. Check swing. Swing and a miss. Sanchez down on one for three. Now he is. We've seen Gio do this time and time again. And another nice piece of hitting by. That's against Cole. Nice block there by Trevino. But it's about using your platform to enrich the lives of others and, and bring happiness. He's over the twins. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Litke. Uh, we'll go to the bottom of the eighth. For the twins. And he struck out Hicks and Donaldson. Got picked up on the bottom of the eighth inning and try to hold it right here. 52nd game. As in the first game. 0-2 on Trevino. This ball and a little out front of the, the breaking stuff right now. For the Twins, Guardians lead the Central. Swing counts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of the New York Yankees. Here's Marwin Gonzalez, who's 0 for 1. 
Couple to love the good throw by Jake Cave. Two and zero. Davis deals the two one. Good stuff from Davis. Plus plus fastball. Good changeup. But as you said, and the two two. Three and two. That ground ball to third. Urshela the long throw and Leffa. One and zero. Significant ground. Last time to face the Yankees head to head this year in the regular season. Another road trip. Three and zero on IKF. Yeah. And he walks IKF on fourth there. Well, fans, remember that the Yes app is the place to stream live. Anybody's lips there, especially Nestor Cortez. Not you know, one other thing is on Saturday and Sunday, and all the games mean so much. The 1-0. Yeah. Meredith is going to do a big sit-down interview with Derek, so that'll be fun as well. Two. Re-energize the lineup, and, they, and they've done that so far today. 2-2. Two, two. But remember, there's still three out. Runner goes. And Florial works a walk. Lose the plate. And now the pitching coach. And there's a strike. Boom his normal position. The 0-1. 0-2. Fouled away. Still. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two on. Pitch. Three and two. And there's ball four. Miss low. Oh, it got better, though, as he rips one past three run double for Hicks. And the Yankees lead seven to one. The Yankees needed it for insurance. Hicks needed it for confidence and just a nice sight. Third and down into the corner. And that is going to clear the bases. Two outs, and they will pitch to him. And he fouls it off. One and two. And the pitch. Consider three and two. And Judge takes them. all credit to him. Even with the team winning seven one, he would not go outside his. There's Glaber Torres. Myself feeling much better at the plate. Foul that one straight. Two and one. And you. There's a strike. Two outs, three two. I'll do it again. Runners go. They score three runs on four walks and one hit. We go to the ninth. Seven, one Yanks. Outstanding in Garrett Cole. A ton of punch outs and a great outing. In the face, the bottom of the order. And there's a base hit to right field by Jake K. Also, his home run, Lestino. Let's see if they can turn two on this. He's pretty quick. There's one. Oh. Of to Torres. They seem to have a little something working together, but they can't turn two as Celestino has. But nonetheless, that's what you like to see from the young middle infielder. Well, Billy ha Shortstop first, and they talk about and rave about his defense, and right there you're seeing how comfortable he oh. Torres makes the play. 
And the Yankees are one out away from sweeping a doubleheader. And a strike from Litke. Ames. Dallas there and the Yankees sweep the Twins. That took 12 innings in game one. F. A bases clearing double for Aaron.